Hello, party people. Hello. It is Randy for Thunder Horse Senate. I'm here today with project number three. Project number three for Bargain Bead Box Budding Romance. Um, this is three of four projects for this month. I have my little book. And let's just take a look. See, I think this was, yeah. Um, this one is for February 2024, Project 3, using the Malaysia Jade in the front toggle. As you may remember, this guy. So this one is just a simple, easy stringing project. So we're going to jump down to the mat, get this party started. Here we are, my party peeps. Okay, this is our design. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so we are going to be using the Malaysia Jade dyed quartz for all of this stringing portion. The pendant. I'm going to use the front toggle and we're going to do asymmetrical, asymmetrical, little charmy charms right here. I think it's going to be super cute. Easy peasy, shouldn't take us very long. So let's just jump right on in. I got our business here, ready to go. And we are gonna do it, do it, do it, do it. So, I wanna zoom in a little smidgy. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, today we're going to be using, oh, yep, yep. <laughs> today we're going to be using Champagne Extra Flex from Soft Flex. This is medium. Okie doke. So that's what we're going to be using. I just like the color there. So we are going to basically just be doing one of these numbers here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're going to do front toggle. We're going to do a little charmy charm. Boop. 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 And that's what we're going to get. So all we got to do is string it up. So let's first start off with uh, preparing our pendant. If you've been around here for any amount of time, you know that I like to first prepare my pendant. I've got a little bit of hair going on. Bunsen hair is free. In case you were wondering, uh, Thunder Horse Ascendant is a working studio. So if you hear things going on, that's just work happening. Do not be alarmed. It's just me here today, so there shouldn't be, <laughs> shouldn't be too much going on. Um, so there you go. No Shannon, no Phyllis, no Jefferson. Just me and pets, but who knows what those pets are doing up there. Alrighty, so I'm just going to set those to the side. These already have jump rings. No need to worry about that. And we're going to set up our pendant. So this is the pendant. I really like the pendant, honestly. I think that is a really nice pendant. So I'm super excited about that. And then we're going to use our little toggle. So I'm just going to get this guy ready to rock. Find all my tools here. And first things first, I'm going to take this jump ring off of there. Hopefully Lily's barking at the post, man. I've been waiting for some post for quite a while. Hoping it gets here today. Not that I encourage dogs to bark at the postman, okay? I'm just saying, like, that. maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, so we have our toggle. Now, we are going to attach the toggle with a jump ring. Oh, you guys, yesterday when I went to the store, I did grab up some Tinky Tots, but I forgot them upstairs. <laughs> I forgot them upstairs in the haven't been through the box yet uh, doings. I haven't quite got to that. Okay. So we're just going to attach this on here. Now, this guy is going to be going like this basically. So. I'm going to make sure to attach right here between the flower and the leaf. However you want to do is completely up to you. I am going to do like so. Let's get this to the back. 
So now he can still freely move because I'm using an oval jump ring, right? But uh, he is basically going to be hanging right here between the flower and the leaf. So uh, this is the part, the female part. This is the male part. I'm going to start the beading on the female part, go around, ending over here with the male part. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to get a little bit of this beading wire. Let's see. And I'm going to need a crimp. So we are going to use a size 2 crimp on our soft flex. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crimp right on to this part right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that through there and put my crimp on. Come around with this longer end. And then we will crimp, 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 crimp it up. You know, you know, you know, you know. So all these projects for this month's um, bargain beatbox have been pretty easy. Because um, I wanted them that way. Because it is February. And many of you know, February is a big month around here for us. It is like February and the beginning of March is our, me and Jeff's birthdays, our anniversary, Valentine's Day, my brother just had his baby, we got baby doings, it's actually my brother's baby shower today, my brother's baby's baby shower, but I am not going to go, because it is in another state, but I'm going to go out there in March for a week, so you heard it here first, Let's see, Looking pretty good there on the crimp. Yep. So I'm going to have that going for me. I just dropped my crimper. Well. <laughs> Alright. Let's get all these bad boys back in here. Come here, crimper. Let's be flopping around on the floor or whatever you're doing. Can't have that. All right, and we're just going to start stringing it up. <laughs> okay, so remember I said right here, not too far away, I'm going to go ahead and do the first little charm. So I've put on three beads. Nothing crazy. I'm going to put on this charm. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be cute. I like that a lot. So now, I'm just going to put on the rest of these beads. And... This is going to make for a cute necklace, but it, it's a super easy necklace, which is one of the reasons I like, I like it so much. Yeah, yeah. Cute. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put all these on here. Just stringing my life away. <laughs> so I'm excited about going to uh, going out to North Dakota. Basically, going to take a week off. We're going to skip a sale. One of our Thunder Horse Descendant um, Claim It Live bead sales. I want to say it's going to be the 11th of March that we're skipping. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave, go down and stay with Jeff for a few days, and then leave from there on to the rest of my destination because it's kind of a big drive. It's like 12 hours or something. So I'm going to do that and I'm quite excited about it. I'll be at the, uh, the Grand Forks house for a while. Maybe I'll, I don't know what I'm going to be doing there. Um, maybe I'll take a look, see around the town and see if they got any houses for me over there. You know. I will have all the pets with me, of course. Because that's how we roll around here. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without all of our pets. I just talked to my grandma today and she was like, that plant that Bunsen was eating is dead. It's <laughs> like, oh, sorry. I tried to make sure that he couldn't eat it, but, you know, can't tell this cat anything. He just thinks he's in charge of everything. <sighs> so, my grandma said she was getting ready to go to the baby shower. She had, uh, had to get ready. They were going to go into town. So that's fun. Um, but yeah. That's kind of what I'm going to have going on. Uh, Rosanna is going to cover morning coffee. She uh, volunteered to do that uh, while I'm away. So I will have to make an announcement and make sure to um, plug her channel. So um, everybody can run over to In Rose's Garden and have their morning coffee while I'm away for the week. Which is super good. So shout out to Rosanna for that. I'll get to hang out with my grandma and hang out with the baby. Maybe Julie will bring the baby. I don't know what she's doing. I have to talk to her about it. Alright, let's take a look see, see where we're at. Well, I've got a few little beads left here. Oop, that one's broke. That one is broken. Okay, so I put off a couple more. Do, do, do. I don't remember how long they said this strand of beads was. Okay, so right here, I'm going to add my other charm. And I think I might have to add a couple of little spacers. Just a couple of few little gold spacers, maybe. So I have some. Ooh, what do we got in here? Oh, a couple flowers. I didn't really want flowers in here, but uh, we're going to need something. Gotta add a couple of flowers. I mean, I'm sure it would make 18 inches, but I kind of wanted a little more. So let me get some of these flowers out of this other box. Two, three, four, five. Eh. No, three. Let's try three.
Mm, it's not enough. I could have swore this strand was longer, but perhaps I'm crazy. Nobody is nobody is uh, really concerned about that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I could. So it's only giving 16 inches with this. So I'm going to take off this ending part. And we're going to take off a few beads up here. And I'm going to grab up some something. See what kind of something we have. Perhaps the answer is a few gold seed beads. My chair is being warm. Okay, I'm going to go with a few gold seed beads here. I'm going to zoom you back in. And this is going to give us a little bit of space. So I'm going to start. One gold seed bead. And then the jade. I'll just taper in this way. And maybe that's for the best. Because then it won't be so stark when we get to the flowers that we had to add. And we can still get the length that we desire. You know? Tis what it is. We are unbothered. I do like this. That might be cute. That might have been cute maybe like up around in here too. But I kind of like how we're doing this like taper situation. Okay. So. There we got a little bit of tapering. Then. We're going to go ahead and put. I can't tab one. Because I'm going to. Sandwich this charm in between. Make sure he's on there the right way. Yep. Yeah. And then here. And then here. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a few right here at the end. And now let's measure that. Let's see what we got. So we're still not quite where I would want to be. I'm gonna read this paper. Mm. 
No, it didn't give it didn't give a, a length. For some reason in my head I was just like, oh these strands are 16 inches and I don't know what happened there. Maybe it is. Okay, well that's fine. We need another inch. So we're gonna have to redo it up here and put in another inch worth. Or we could add it down here at the end, over here, but that might look a little bit some kind of way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to take off another little bundle here and I'm going to add. I'm like, oh, this will be easy. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> it's just the way of the world, I guess. So, let's start spacing in between these guys. And, oh, dropped one. That'll just have to be the way of it. I could have just popped a bunch on the end, but I feel like that would make it look kind of funky in the front. And I would prefer that not be going on in the front. I mean, I'm still going to put this little bit on there towards the front because that'll help it get through the toggle, but I just didn't want two inches of beads on the end. So I'm just backing up a little ways. Another option might be sticking some uh, spacers down over here had you felt the need to take everything off, you know. It's up to you. This is kind of one of those scenarios where it's like, well, who's going to know? They're not going to know. It's supposed to be like that. <laughs> this is where you go, oh, that was a design choice. We decided to do that on purpose. <laughs> Now, I believe I'm back up to here. I feel like my camera is really not focusing very well. Let's zoom out a little bit. I don't know why. It's kind of funky. Okay, now we're on it, now we're on it. I forgot a beat. Don't do that. Here's what we're getting. I'll be honest with you, I'm not mad at it. Sometimes these are just little happy accidents, I guess. All right. Lily's being so silly. There's no snow out there, which is crazy town. Oh, 
Okay, now we put the tin on. Two, three, no, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, now I think we got her. Now I think we got her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So, this is what we end up with. I'm going to go ahead and crimp it on. The little flower. What is that? Oh, that's a jar. I'm going to crimp it on this little flower. I'm excited, you guys. I think that's my mail. I think that was my mailman. Go up there, check, check, check it out. Can I get through here? Is that too small? Okay, it's too small, they said. That's fine. Oh, um, okay. So, what I'm going to do, since it's too small to get through there, I will just cover this with a crimp bead. So, I'm going to give myself a little bit extra space. And I'm going to go ahead and crimp it. I'm going to cut this short, 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 okay, and then I'm going to come in with a crimp cover, let's find one here, crimp cover, here we go, I'm going to use these larger ones, these are not threes, these are probably fives. Uh, the reason for that is because the tube I find can sometimes be a little bit, you know, problematic. Also, because I want to cover up this piece of, of soft flex that's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I like to crimp this, or to do the crimp covers this way. I don't know why, it's just preference. And I'm going to get this where I need it to be. Give her a little squeeze. Okay. Make sure everything's in there good. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side just so they match. Now on this side, I am going to put it down a little bit like as close to the crimp because I want it to still give us that little bit of movement. This is what we end up with. So now we got those little beads on there. It's going to help it to go through a little better. I think that that is good. Okay. Yeah! 
Oh, I like it. Okay, let me get these off my mat and then I'll zoom out so I can show you guys the real deal.com. Stop on my flying everywhere. Okay, so here we go with the finished product. I'll give you a measurement on it. Because really, we're only measuring to here, right? Because this is where it's going to stop. So, right about there, we've got 18. A little less than 18, right? So, when we put it on, just double checking. Yeah, but because it's front toggle, it does. it's not really feeling like it's not 18, so that's good. So, it's about 18. I'm just trying it on. Sorry. Can't see me. Uh, it looks cute. Uh, so, I was just also checking to make sure that it's not too tight on the beading part. So, it is not. But I actually really like this a lot. Okay, so here's the finished product. So you can see as the beads start to taper down. This guy, in essence, is going to sit like this. Uh, the weight of everything, I feel like, is good. The weight with the pendant heavy down here. It's going to hold your toggle in place once you have it on. The little flowers we added. I mean, quite honestly, we just added a little bit extra to our original plan, which was this guy. Um, I do like this little gold taper in on the one side. I could have gone for a little bit over here. Maybe just a chunk. Maybe like this is fine, and then just a little chunk here. That could have been cute, just FYI. Um, let me show you the original design here. So... I mean, for the most part, we did all this. We just happened to add a couple few little spacers. So, I am pretty happy with it. Here's... Let me go this way. The original design versus the actual item. So, I am very happy with it. Although we did not plan to have these flowers, I wasn't really super sold on the flowers, but I do like them now. I think if you if you did them without the flowers though, you just did the gold spacing. Also cute. So I'm very happy with this. There we go. So that is project number three. Let me zoom you in so you guys can really see the details better on the video because sometimes the photos get a little funky. Okay, so here's your pendant. I like this little toggle with the flower. These are just super cute. I'm glad I decided to use those on the necklace instead of like in an earring or something. Not that that's bad. I just, I think they look cute right here. And when they lay, they're going to look cute. Um, the flowers are not horrible. I do really like this. This is an interesting razzle dazzle in blocking, I feel. Especially since the seed bead is a metal color. So like I said, if you went over on this side and you did just a smidge of this over here then it would be kind of really nice for the asymmetricalness of everything if you felt the need um i might keep that in my back pocket for for, for future endeavors i also love a front toggle necklace it's just who i am as a person <laughs> it's just who i am as a person but anyways there we go project number three i hope you guys are enjoying these videos if you are make sure to uh do a like leave a comment let me know what you did for the sizing of this situation. Let me know if I'm crazy that I thought this was a 16 inch strands of beads. Was it not? Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Doesn't say I lost my bag. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you all have a lovely, spectacular, amazing beading day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.